This is a typical daily demand curve on the UK power grid. Obviously in the daytime here, there's a bigger demand than at night here. Currently this base load is around about 26 gigawatts, which is there 24 hours a day. This is best dealt with by things like nuclear or coal, but these sources cannot be changed quickly. For example, nuclear can take 12 hours to even stop and the cost of stopping and starting is enormous. Therefore, the amount of electricity the baseload is producing cannot really be reduced. So what happens when the demand in the night, say, falls below what's being provided? We have to give the electricity away to Europe or even pay them to take it. That is part of what we call balancing the grid. Wind cannot be used for baseload power because it can drop to zero and we would have no means of replacing the power grid. The power grid has to be kept so that supply and demand are in balance. Too much generation at any time could cause damage to the infrastructure and too little could cause blackouts. There is no economic way to store surplus energy. Pump storage schemes are great ways to store energy and are able to quickly release it but the locations they can be used are very limited and in any event they cannot be used for periods like nine days without wind power. The New York Times reports today that it's becoming almost routine for electricity prices to go negative in Britain, Germany and other European countries. Balancing costs for wind are rapidly increasing but set to become much worse with Boris's plans. Balancing costs overall are now skyrocketing, up 48% from 2020 to 2021 and much more to come, but that is in the next part of this series.